Hello guys, it's Kevin Yan, and in this video I'm going to explain to you a financial concept called the risk neutral measure in plain English. One day, the grandson Kevin went to his grandpa. He said, Grandpa, I heard you got this fancy lottery ticket, which pays you off $20 if tomorrow is sunny and nothing if tomorrow is rainy. I heard you want to sell it, and how much do you want to sell it for? The grandpa thought about it for a while. He said, Hmm, kid, I think that tomorrow there's 50% of chance it's sunny and another 50% of chance it's raining. So on average, it should worth $10. However, you know I'm an old man and I don't really want the fluctuation of the cash in my bank account. I really don't want to spend the energy and time to go to the lottery spot to redeem the coupon. So in fact, it really worth $2 to me. And the kids again ran to his grandma, who was playing chess with her friends on the other side of the courtyard. He asked the grandma, Grandma, you know what? Grandpa got this fancy lottery ticket, which gives him $20 if tomorrow is sunny and $0 if tomorrow is raining. And if you want to buy it, how much do you want to buy it for? The grandma thought about it for a while. She said, Hmm, kid, I think that tomorrow there's 50% chance it's sunny and another half chance it's gonna be raining. So on average it worth $10 to me. Because I'm a risk neutral person, I don't really mind it's going up or going down. The happiness of receiving the $20 roughly equals to the disappointment if I receive nothing. So I will buy for $10. And the kid was very happy because he saw he can win $8 for free because he could buy for $2 from grandpa and sell it for $10 to grandma. There's no risk involved. So he ran back to his grandpa, wishing to buy the ticket. However, in the meantime, the grandpa gave a call to the grandma. He said, Oh honey, you heard from our kid that he wants to sell you my ticket, right? The grandma said, Well, right. The grandma said, Hmm, so did, you, did he ask you how much you want to buy it for? The grandma said $10. The grandma was not happy. He said, you know what? I said I only want to sell him for $2. So if he buy it for $2 from me and sell it for $10 to you, then he can earn $8 of free money. That's something I don't want to see because the kid was so young and I don't want him to get the cash. He will do something bad. The grandma said, well, so do you have any idea how to do it? And the grandpa's response is that, hmm, how about I sell it for $6 right now, and you want to only buy it for $6? The grandpa, grandma said, well, that sounds like a good idea, but how do you want to explain it to the kid? The grandma said, hmm, I got it, and he hands up. So when Kevin went back to his grandpa, he wanted to buy a ticket, but the grandpa says, kids, you know what? The ticket is now worth six dollars to me because I now think that there's seventy percent of a chance it's gonna be sunny and thirty percent of a chance it's gonna be rainy. Also, I'm still a risk-averse person, but you know the payoff perspective is just better right now. So right now I can only sell it for six dollars. The kid was not very happy, but he still think that okay. If I buy it for six dollars and sell it for ten dollars, then I can still earn four dollars for free. So he bought it, and he went to his grandma. However, to his surprise, grandma also said that she could only buy for $6 at most. Because she thinks that, okay, there's 30% of chance it's sunny, and 70% of chance it's rainy. So on average, it's only worth $6. The kid was not happy, but he had no choice to sell, but to sell the ticket to the grandma. So in this example, the grandma is a risk neutral person and the probability 30% it's sunny and 70% it's rainy is called the risk neutral probability. In case of the grandpa, he is risk averse, so his probability is different from the grandma. And also, because they also buy and sell it at the same amount, $6, there's no free money left on the table. This concept is called arbitrage. So I wish you learned something from this video, and I wish to see you again. Thank you for watching.